Greetings fellow Whovians and welcome to Time Wine Review and an edition of News Roundup. Normally I call these rumour roundups but because there's been so much news since the fallout of the Doctor Who centenary special that was the power of the Doctor I thought I'll talk about all the latest news that has been uh, announced and uh, put my thoughts on them including a new international home for the show a brand new logo for Doctor Who confirmed Doctors and much much more so if you can please hit the subscribe button I'm almost at my target of 250 50, but I would really love to get to 300 subscribers before my second anniversary for this YouTube channel. That would really, really mean a lot. And for everyone who has subscribed already, massive thank you. I truly appreciate it. But let's get on with the news. Starting with a brand new logo, well, new ish logo for the show, uh, which was launched throughout the Doctor Who social media, so like the Doctor Who Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and so forth. And it's the return of the diamond logo. And when I first saw this, my initial thoughts was something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. So when I saw this logo come back, I thought, yes, absolutely, it is perfect. Really love the, the sort of tweak of the design. So this is going to be at least for the 60th anniversary. Uh, which is truly fitting because it's a diamond logo for a diamond anniversary. Whether this is going to be used for Series 14 in 2024, I'm not quite sure really. Obviously, that's a bit far away. Time will tell. It always does. Uh, but yeah, especially for the show's 60th anniversary, I think it's absolutely perfect. It's an absolute the, the right fit uh, to go back to the diamond logo. And again, whether they use it for other uh, media, so whether they go for this logo, especially for the uh, the classic Who releases on Blu-ray, or they go back to the diamond logo, that remains to be seen. I've heard that they're not, but again, it's all sort of uh, speculation that's up in the air. So if you do know, let me know in the comments. It's already got me thinking how they're going to use that as part of the, the show's intro when it comes back in 2023. Is it going to be something similar to the uh, John Pertree and Tom Baker intros that we got from 1973 and to 1980? Who knows? Again, speculate in the comments. But on to the next huge announcement, which was shortly after the Diamond logo was revealed, uh, that Doctor Who has now found a new international home from 2023 and beyond, and that will be on the global streaming platform that is Disney+. Plus. So this was rumoured earlier this year, which I did do a video about uh, theorising uh, whether it was going to be on Disney+, Plus or not. Uh, but now it has been confirmed it is definitely going to be um, on Disney Plus from 2023 and beyond. But that doesn't impact anyone in the UK or Ireland at all. It doesn't make, it, there's no changes whatsoever here in the UK and Ireland. It's still going to be on BBC. It's still going to be on BBC iPlayer for catch up services. But globally, this is a huge announcement and statements have already been made, uh, including one for new showrunner, or I should I say new current showrunner, Russell T. Davis, who has gone on to say, I love this show and this is the best of both worlds. With the vision and the joy of the BBC and Disney Plus, together we can launch the TARDIS all around the planet, ready for a new generation of fans while keeping our traditional home firmly on the BBC in the UK. And similar statements followed from like the Department of Branding for Disney Plus and the uh, head of uh, television for Disney Plus as well. But the key words that I kept uh, seeing from all the different other statements that came out was very British uh, or British institution. So for that means they're sort of obviously trying to calm the fans in terms of thinking, oh my gosh, Doctor Who is now owned by Disney. Yeah, we're going to have adventures of Doctor and Mickey Mouse. That is definitely not the case. It's still being produced jointly by the BBC and Bad Wolf Studios. Now I do stand by my thoughts that um, yeah I, I think Doctor Who deserves to be on a global streaming platform. I think you know if you're ever going to turn it into an international show then it needs to be something you know it needs to be placed somewhere like Disney Plus and you know that's 
that's only going to be a good thing. Especially like, uh, I know in France, there's very little Doctor Who. There's quite a lot of Whovians in France. Hello, if anyone's watching in, in France. But I know it doesn't really get shown in France. So, you know, this is a, a perfect fix. It is going to affect some viewers, especially in America and Australia, because it was on BBC America and in Australia it was on the ABC network and I think ABC iView, I do believe it's called. Uh, but that's not going to happen. Disney Plus from 2023 will have the streaming rights. And I think that's probably from November of 2023 when the 60th anniversary specials come in. So obviously um, it's not going to be free for uh, those audiences. They'll have to subscribe to that. Uh, so, you know, I, I do feel bad in that sort of sense. I, you know, it would have been good if they came to a sort of a more agreeable arrangement, similar to uh, what we get here in the UK with the BBC, whether they, you know, those channels get to show it, but obviously don't have the right to replay, you know, one, it's just a one and done deal. That would have been a, probably for me a bit fairer. Uh, so if you are affected by this, let me know in the comments below, you know, what's your thoughts on, on it being on Disney Plus? The big caveat being, though, that it's still a British produced show. I don't really want Disney to get their hands on Doctor Who and, you know, in, in a production sort of sense. Just the global streaming rights will do me nicely, please. I don't want a Rocket Raccoon moment from Avengers Infinity War where they go off and say, how much for Doctor Who? It's not for sale. Right. How much for the BBC? Oh, I'm getting the BBC. But it was nice that Shooter Gatwa got to announce that Doctor Who will be on Disney Plus on the Live with Kelly and Ryan show. He did a little interview with them. And he also did a, a quick Doctor Who guide video as well. Um, especially after the fallout of the power of the Doctor. So speaking of all that, obviously we got that dramatic or very exciting regeneration scene at the end of that special. And obviously it's confirmed that David Tennant is the 14th Doctor and it's pretty much uh, writing on the walls that Shooter Gatwa will be the 15th Doctor. So there's been lots of interviews being dropped through social media, particularly with David Tennant. There was a nice uh, BBC Entertainment interview with him and Lizo. And pretty much David saying, you know, this is an, an exciting moment, an opportunity to go back again and be the Doctor. You know, no one really gets to do this. And uh, when Lizo asked, you know, is... I a bit uh, worried that you know the you've had that success. Can you repeat it? You know, pretty much second time round. Uh, David turned around saying, "No, I didn't feel like it's no risk at all in that sort of sense." And yeah, I think quite rightly so. You know, we've seen on TikTok over the last few days lots of reactions for David returning with the big sort of regeneration. Uh, obviously, keeping you know having a change of clothes. That's the big sort of what if theory is going off here why um um the doctor regenerated with a new set of clothes that's sort of something that was a little bit unprecedented i think it happened in the first regeneration you need to rewatch 10th planet and power of the daleks and why obviously the clothes changed uh, and they're all saying they completely changed back to the 10th doctor not necessarily because i think his clothes look very different there's like checkered trousers there's a waistcoat going on and tie and i think he uh shooty gatwa wears a very similar outfit when he shouts out what the hell's going on uh like that that was pretty cool um so yeah uh, let me know in the comments below your theories on why the doctor's costume changed what do you think that will be leading up to the specials in 2023? That leads me into the next news article that I read that the BBC have been accused of being dishonest whilst filming at the privately owned Lulworth estate, particularly the clifftop regeneration scene at Durdle Door. So basically, uh, the Lulworth estate uh, has gone on to state, uh, we are disappointed that the BBC chose not to be honest with us when seeking our permission. And there's been uh, talks of perhaps the BBC could be banned from filming there uh, for future shows. Now, the reason why this has become a bit of a hoo-ha is basically um, the Lulworth estate thinks that people will try and replicate that regeneration scene, which could lead to 
health and safety hazards and the emergency services being called out you know going too uh too close to the edge of that cliff now what really happened was the bbc sent a drone out there to do the the, the location filming and all of the rest of it was done on green screen so they only got the sort of location sort of scenery set it was never done on a cliff in real life jody wasn't on the edge of the cliff she wasn't in any danger uh, it was all done on green screen. The BBC has commented by replying, the Doctor Who centenary special regeneration scene was a tightly kept secret. Although we were granted permission to film with a drone, we weren't asked how the location would be portrayed on screen. So I hope they do kind of resolve this issue, um, you know, because it is, you know, common sense should prevail on this one. And if anyone thinks of going to that cliff top to replicate that regeneration scene, please don't because it was it didn't actually happen. You know, it was all done by film and TV magic. Just don't do it. Keep yourself safe. Let's keep this light regarding the power of the Doctor because it has been quite a successful special uh, when all said and done. It had 3.8 million viewers. Uh, that was the overnight viewing figures with up to 4 million tuning in for that regeneration scene. I'm sure those viewing figures will rise quite dramatically when all the catch-up uh, BBC iPlayer uh, figures come into uh, into uh, play. Uh, I think that will be re released in a few weeks' time. But for a drama-based show, that's really good viewing figures. And yeah, it's had really good responses. Uh, the critics have pretty much overall liked it. And especially regarding the return of the classic Doctors. As I mentioned in my The Power of the Doctor spoiler talk video, we had the return of David Bradley, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy and Paul McGann. And it was really fitting how they managed... Uh, uh, the, those roles in that special and how they managed to keep that really tightly lipped uh, Sylvester McCoy um, did a video of a sigh of relief you know now I can talk about it you know especially with a lot of them doing the comic con rounds throughout the UK throughout the year you know well done for keeping that secret and tightly lipped but the one uh, people one one person that everyone's been talking about really was uh, Tom Baker, you know, expecting him to make an appearance. Well, according to the Irish Mirror, who uh, had an interview with showrunner Chris Chibnall, um, he was apparently was approached to do, uh, uh, you know, about uh, making an appearance. Uh, but um, Chris Chibnall replied that unfortunately uh, Tom Baker was not available, which was a shame. And yeah, it is a shame. Would I like to have seen Tom Baker make an appearance? Absolutely. But uh, do I think it was absolutely necessary? Probably not. I, I liked his appearance as the great curator in the 50th anniversary, the day of the Doctor. And that kind of just adds or keeps that elusiveness that is Tom Baker. So a lot of people were also thinking why didn't any modern doctors make an appearance such as Christopher Eccleston, Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi. Well Chris Chibnall did answer that in the same article uh, He re by replying I didn't want to tread on anything that might be happening in the future. So obviously Chris Chibnall is not confirming that there's going to be more doctors in the 60th anniversary specials but obviously the rumours are going to be out there. It's, you know, it's always going to be out there. Uh, I know my fiance when she was watching The Power of Doctor, really wanted Christopher Eccleston to return. Personally, I would love for Matt Smith to return as well. Uh, well, I, I, you know, all of them. Bring them all back, you know. But, you know, if that happens, that remains to be seen. So let me know in the comments below which Doctors you would like to see make a return in the future. And also your thoughts to all the huge news announcements that have been made over the past couple of days. Next time on Time Wimer Review, it will be my full review for The Power of the Doctor. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the cloister bell for more notifications. Come say hello and follow me on Twitter at ReviewTimey and do check out my other videos from the Timey Wimey Review YouTube channel. And as a good doctor once said, well, this is new. <laughs>